channel. Today I am doing the quarantine tag tagged by the lovely Miss Christy Plans. Thank you so much Christy for tagging me because otherwise I feel like I wouldn't get the ball rolling and actually film stuff. Um, so I'm really excited and glad about that. Hopefully this means that in the next coming few weeks I will be able to post a couple of um, plan with me videos and if not some more behind the scenes of my shop so I have the questions pulled up on my phone and I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into them did you prepare for the quarantine or did you wait until the last minute I kind of prepared um, but I wasn't expecting to be prepared so I ran out of toilet paper and any kind of like wipes um, like the bounty wipes right when right around February that was like two or three weeks before so I, I was well in advance things on the shelves were still fully stocked when I was doing this and I went to Costco so I don't have a Costco membership card and one of my co co-workers take takes me to Costco I want to say like once every now and then I'm not really often I want to say like once every three to five months so I went there and what I usually do is I stock up on anything that I need and I can buy in bulk so that meant I bought two packs of tissue um, not tissue, toilet paper, like the really big Costco packs and then I bought one pack of the Bounty Wipes and that, that was it, that was kind of my, my preparation I guess but I didn't really know that things were going to be sold out at all like this was like, I just, I just like having things in my house and a stockpile of them for like months so I don't have to go shopping because I hate, I hate going to Costco and I already have to ask my coworker for his card and ask him to take me so it's like a whole event to do that. So I always stockpile a bunch. Um, are you secretly happy at home or are you miserable and can't wait to go outside? This is a 50-50. I am a couch potato and when we didn't have the quarantine, honestly, I'm always at home. I spend a lot of my time at home. However, I realized how fortunate we were to actually be able to go outside and have the luxury to do that. With the quarantine happening, I live in California, specifically the Bay Area. Our regulations and our rules were very strict. I think it didn't even let up until like June 1st or March or May 31st. Um, so essentially we weren't allowed or it wasn't really recommended for us to go outside unless um, we were essential workers or we are just going to buy groceries and whatnot. So I didn't have the luxury to go outside. I miss being able to eat or dine in. That's one of like the biggest love of my life. I like having fresh food and then going to restaurants and having like a specific meal. So I really miss being able to go outside but I do enjoy the fact that I get to work from home. I get to stay home um, with that luxury. So I'm kind of 50-50. There are some days where I'm just like I can't wait to go outside. I can't wait until I can sit down at a restaurant and just eat. Um, but I'm not, I'm not like as miserable as I, as someone who's like an extrovert would be. I want to say, um, who is the last person you checked on during quarantine? That would be my dad. We text each other back and forth once a week. I want to say, just be like, hey, how are you? Hey, are you back at work yet? Um, and things like that. How do you normally spend your day in during quarantine? Quar quarantine. Um, I usually get up around nine, so like right before work starts basically i roll out of bed i brush my teeth and then i slide into my desk and then that's kind of how it is so i save so much time i get so much more sleep because i don't have that whole i have to get ready for work i don't have to do that whole like um get dressed and take the drive to work even though my drive to work is like 10 minutes it's 10 extra minutes the hardest part which takes as long as the drive is finding parking in the parking complex so I save a lot of time just being able to just slide into my desk at home um, so 9 to 5 is my work hours um, I work a full-time job luckily they let us do everything remote so that's what I've been doing however um, I would have to say that sometimes my work does extend all the way to 6 or 7 depending on the day so after that, usually after work, I take a nap. It could be anywhere between an hour and a half to two hours. Um, the reason for that is my sleeping schedule is crap. Um, and then I wake up around nine, I want to say. And then from then, it's making sure to feed the dog, take the dog out, feed myself, and work on anything that's my shop, YouTube, Instagram related. And then I go to bed at three in the morning. 
at 3 in the morning is like I want to say a very normal sleep hour for me um who am I quarantining with I am quarantining with my boyfriend and my dog um how many times have you been outside or have you been outside and how many times I've been outside a lot um I have a dog so I have to walk her and yeah I just I have been outside because I have to walk my dog every day twice a day make sure she gets her exercise in make sure I get my exercise in um yeah we stick to all the regulations and rules but usually I go at off hours where no one's outside to begin with and I don't really interact with people in the first place the hardest part is like everyone's like oh she's so cute and then they'll try to pet her and you'll be you'll have to be like oh no sorry um how many hours per day are you sleeping I am sleeping five approximately five four to five hours at night and then how many hours uh and then about like two hour nap so maybe seven hours so three to nine that's like what six hours six plus two i guess it could be anywhere between um two hours to or sorry anywhere between six hours to eight hours depending if i get my nap in or if i'm sleeping later in the morning like 4 a.m uh what is your favorite food to snack on during quarantine funny that you asked that this bag is basically empty. I am eating uh, the Flaming Hot Cheetos, the extra Flaming Hot, because this is the spiciest one. Um, even though Hot Cheetos isn't really that spicy. Um, someone please come save me because um, this is all I'm eating. I'm not really cooking anymore, and I don't think it has the nutritional facts to keep me sustained. <laughs> and it's not, it's not a very good thing. Um, what have you been watching on television? So the most recent thing I've been watching is How to Get Away with Murder. Before that, it was House MD. Um, I watched like a bunch of random shows actually. I don't, I don't have all of them on top of my head because I kind of just run it in the background and just watch it as it goes. Um, and then House MD is like what, eight seasons? How to Get Away with like Murder is like five seasons. So I think that kind of filled up a lot of the time. How much toilet tissue did you buy? Um, in February, those two packs, two Costco size packs, um, and it, I still have half of them, so I won't need another pack until like, I want to say November, October, November, so I, I'm not really too worried about that. So bonus questions, am I getting dressed every morning? Absolutely not. <laughs> if I have to get dressed every morning, that's like an extra 10 minutes of my day that I have to get ready. Um, so no, I don't, uh, and I don't need to. A lot of time I can just throw on a blouse and call it a day even during meetings because no one's seeing my bottom pajamas and I don't need to worry about that. Um, my hair is also, luckily my hair is like pretty manageable, it's straight so I don't really need to do anything special. I clip it up if it's like really frizzy or anything like that. Are you planning more or less? March, April, May, half of May, I did not plan at all. Um, we went through like a reorganization at my workplace which means I took on different roles and my role kind of changed and the amount of work that goes into it changed as well. So it took up a lot of time during the day so I didn't really have too much or I'm extra exhausted compared to like usual on top of my really crappy sleeping schedule so I didn't really plan plan. I did. I do however have like a notebook of like a list of things I need to do and I write them down in this instead of a regular like bullet journal I have a bullet journal I don't know why I write in this notebook it is just what it is um I have like my Jim Boon tech show which I haven't uh touched until like the past three weeks and my Erin Condren is collecting dust literally so yeah I haven't really been planning but I'm hoping to change that up in the next couple of weeks and that is it for this quarantine tag. I hope you guys got to know me a little bit more and everything. And yeah, so let's just get straight to who I am tagging for the video. I'm tagging Letter Plans on YouTube. Um, his links will be down in the description. His name is Ernest. I love and I'm so excited to see what kind of video he puts out and how he answers all these questions along with Sergio from the Sergio and Savage Co. YouTube will also be linked down in the description along with their Instagram handles and I think that's all they have. Um, I think Ernest has a podcast so I'll link that down as well. And yeah, if you want to do this tag, go ahead, feel free. I highly encourage it. I think it's a super fun tag and it's a really easy way to kind of step back into the YouTube groove if you haven't, like me. 
um yeah aside from that that is it for my video i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you guys hopefully really soon with the plan for me Bye bye <laughs>